You know, I haven't been around forever. I'm not as old as a lot of people think. I'm only 29. I think that's going to surprise a lot of people because, I don't know, maybe it's my voice or my attitude that makes me seem a lot older. But one thing I do know, if you wait around long enough, people will genuinely surprise you, especially if you keep yourself open to it. And this is one of those instances for me. This is an artist that I approached a couple months ago and just said, you know, hey man, I really like your work. Maybe we can work together sometime in the future, but I just want to let you know what you're doing is great and I think you're going to be successful. And then I wake up this morning and I got this message from this guy and <laughs> it's just like, here you go. This is for you. And I watched it and I couldn't help but smile the entire time I was watching this. I'm like, man, someone's actually, someone's drawing me. This is, this is really cool. And I didn't have to pay for it. I didn't have to do anything for it. It was just him paying it forward and just doing a nice thing. And it brought a smile to my face. And I thought that was really cool, man. I think the reason I'm so genuinely surprised by stuff like this is because I don't consider myself a, a big YouTuber. I don't consider myself a, a huge brand on the internet. I would like to be. I think I'm working myself toward that point and learning a lot in the meantime that I constantly use every day in my job. But I don't think I'm at that point where people send me fan art you know, for, for free. I mean, this guy could have said, hey, I'll, I'll do a drawing of you if you promote me, you know, which isn't the case, even though I'm doing it anyway. Uh, he didn't say, you know, hey, man, I'll do a drawing of you if you pay me this much money, or I'll do a drawing of you if you do this for me. It was just, it was just a nice thing to do. And I want to do the same thing in return. It's the whole concept of paying it forward. And I feel like the ball's in my court now. And I think that we all can do something nice for this guy. His name is Andre Turbe. Forgive me if I mispronounced his name. I'm a dumb American. <laughs> but he's got a really good charity drive that he is responsible for at this moment. Or maybe not responsible for. I'm not sure if he's running it. But he's certainly trying to contribute to it. And it just, man, it surprised me. So not only is he, not only is he doing this, these nice things for these YouTubers and stuff, um, but he's also doing a, a great thing for a charity drive. So I want you guys to head over to this guy's channel, subscribe to him because he's super talented. Uh, and also check out the charity drive that he's, he's trying to help. Maybe donate if you're in the situation in which you could. And if you like this artwork, there's definitely going to be a description, uh, a, a description down in the link. Yeah, a link down in the description for you guys to download it. I'm not sure what you're going to do with it. Maybe you don't even want to know, but I thought it was pretty interesting and you guys can grab it as well. This is actually, he started out with an MP5. I thought that was interesting. He was starting out with an MP5 on my shoulder and then I guess he was looking at my channel and noticed that I was a little bit of a fan of the Galil and he transformed the MP5 into a Galil. So it's, it, it appears kind of to be like a hybrid. It's really, really kind of cool. Uh, and my only criticism for him at the end uh, when he handed it to me was, hey man, can you just take my finger off the trigger? Everything else is great, but my finger's got to come off the trigger. And he was so nice about it. He was like, yeah, man, no problem. And he went back through it and he did that for me. So I'm probably going to be using this in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you guys check this guy out and pay it forward also. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Sergeant Merrill out here.